Morning, sis. Morning, David. Oh, what a wonderful day. It's nice to see you up so early. Get you some breakfast. You're going to get a job? Mm. Yeah, I think I need a new challenge. Who's going to hire you? Why not? I was good at school, wasn't I, sis? Yes. Yes, you were. You see? There'll always be a place for smart people in the workforce. Smart people, yes. Mad people, not so much. David. It's a waste of time. Why not? What have you heard? I haven't heard anything. Have you heard from them? Yeah, they call me all the time. They got it in for you. What do they say? They don't say anything. He's teasing you, aren't you, David? David, tell him. I haven't heard anything, right? I don't believe you. David, now look what you've done. He was going to spend the day pretending he can get a job, and he can't. He's not well. Now go and get ready for school. They're coming for you, Harvey. David, get out. You're all right, Harvey. Let me get you some tea, OK? Yeah, nothing Come from the tap, you know. I can't have anything yes, from... I know. Nothing from the tap. Who's that? It's just work, Harvey. They have to call here sometimes. I have to They're take not this. not here. You know phones aren't safe. Oh, for goodness sake. Yes, hello. Oh, hello, Cindy. Yes. Oh, no, no, Ever. It's all in town. Like I said, I'm fine. I'll, uh, I'll talk to you lunchtime. Edson. It's just work. They have to call me sometimes. How do you know it's really them? Just take your pills. I'm no good at clever plans. OK, right, we've got to after lunch. Then we should get back together and compare notes. We need to think of at least one good idea each, OK? Ladies, everything all right? Everything's just peachy. And how long have you been sleeping badly? Well, years, really. But these last few weeks have been really bad. Any particular reason you can think of? More stress at work, at home? Both. Work is very hard. They're feeling the strain and we've all got to earn our place, so we're out. And at home... Well, you've seen the notes on my brother. Paranoid schizophrenia and you're his primary carer? I promised my mother. And it's the right thing to do. Yeah, it's a big commitment. He's my brother. Just recently, he's been so much worse. What about some kind of respite care? He doesn't like those places. He's scared of doctors and, well, any authority figure, really. Well, if you feel you can no longer care for him. Oh, I can. It's just... There's my son as well, and he's being very difficult and moody. 
How old is he? Sixteen. Difficult and moody. Not at all like any other teenager, then. But he could do so much more to help. And he just makes things worse. He winds Harvey up. When you say worse, do you think Harvey could harm himself or others? Oh, no. He's so gentle. He's just so tiring, being so scared of everything. He made this for me, to keep me safe. He's so sweet, so harmless. Yet sometimes it's like he's on another planet. Well, I don't want to give you sleeping pills, but I do want you to look into getting some proper respite care. There are some very good places I can recommend, if only for a few weeks. I'm sure I won't need to do that. Honestly, Doctor, I feel better just for being able to talk to somebody. Come in. Just a quick word. Yeah, well, it'll have to be quick. Do you need any help? Actually, no. Just wanted to give you a bit of friendly advice. Yeah. What about the women here? You old dog. You can give me some hunting tips. No, no, no. Well, the fact is, you've ruffled a few feathers. They have to act huffy. It's part of the game. But no woman ever objects to a bit of male attention, in whatever form it takes. Well... Heston, I've got patience now. Buzz off. The thing is... Go. Shoo. Karen? Is it Jimmy? Gone to lunch. What do you think? Uh, uh, very nice. You don't like it? I'm just not used to seeing you in. But it's very nice. It's who I am now. Right. Downstairs. It's your favourite. It's not safe outside. It is safe, Harvey. I promise you. You don't like it, do you? No, I don't. But if it's what you want, it might just be a phase. It is not a phase. And I'm not the person to talk to. I wish Simon was here. Simon is completely different to me. What, you think I need some kind of gay counsellor or something? I just thought he might be able to help. I am the only person who knows what it's like to be me. Yes. What's best for me? Oh, I'm not saying anything else. Who are you calling? Your dad. I just need a couple of things for tea. I'm sorry to interrupt, but I need to talk to you about your brother. My brother? But... Who is it? You can't come in. It's He's important. All right. I'll try and get him back upstairs. But don't tell him you're a doctor. Who are you? This is a friend of mine, Harvey. Her name's Lily. My name's Lily. I thought we didn't have any friends. I do. I I've known Lily a long time. I've just come round to have a cup of tea, if that's all right. I won't stay long. And who might you be? Imogen, Immy, Karen's daughter. Oh! <laughs> Charlie, is at your service. 
I'm just waiting for my mom. Pretend like I'm not here. Not possible. Lovely young thing, are you? Exotically dressed. Yeah, well. Um, yeah, it is. Wonderful to be so young. All those hormones raging. You what? Oh, you know, boys. Around the honeypot. I don't like boys. Yeah, we haven't met the right one yet. What a lucky lad he's going to be. No, what I mean is, I'm not into them. Yeah. Ah, yes, I see. What a thought. What? Dreadful shame for us chaps. Don't let me keep you. Nah. I got my way. But, uh, you know, if ever, if ever you change your mind, always willing to help. You know, you're the best reason for being a lesbian I've found yet. If you were the last man on earth, I wouldn't touch you with a barge pole. You're disgusting. Uh, you're you heard her. And if you even so much as look at her again, well, get lost. Women. You see, people think radiation is like this special thing. You just get from power stations and uranium and things, but radiation is, is everything. Light rays, radio waves, it's, um, oh, it's a, it's a what do you call it? A, a continuum. Yeah, 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 a continuum. So if they do want to irradiate you, they can do it in so many ways. All those street lights are programmed to irradiate you whenever they want. I see. I'll get you a bracelet. Bracelet? Yeah, it'll keep you safe. Thank you, that's very kind. Harvey, would you mind if Lily and I had a chat? She's come a long way to see me. Yeah, I suppose. Or girl talk, eh? Gossip and shoes. Probably. I'll see you before you go. I'd like that. Hey! <laughs> You're a big hit. He's lovely. It's so nice to see him with somebody else talking, almost like a proper person. He is a proper person. He's just a bit different. But I'm worried about him. <laughs> You left these. Oh, thank you. I didn't realise. I don't understand. They're all empty. How can that be? I, I got the prescription myself. They wouldn't... Someone must have gone through them and taken all the medicine out. Harvey hasn't been properly medicated since, well, who knows how long. Who are you? She's a doctor. How could you? What? You are just... I don't believe anybody could be so cruel. I didn't do anything. I got your bracelet. Let's go. Hey, wacko. Seen any little green men today? They're not green, they're... grey and the... I saw them outside. They've got a big net. And needles. Needles? David, stop it. It's all right, Harvey. He, he doesn't mean it. Huge needles. Harvey, you need to take your pills. Why are you telling me to take my pills? She's a doctor. A doctor? Harvey, are you a doctor? It's going to be fine, OK? Just calm down. OK, calm down. You need to take your pills, Harvey. Take... Run, run, run! Needles, Harvey! Needles! Stop it! I am sick to death of you! I know! Well, I hate to say it, but I think we have to give him what he wants. Yep. We're sure? Well then, if that's what he wants, that's what he'll get. He won't know what's hit him. What did you hope to achieve? Achieve? What, like I had a master plan worked out or something? So what then? You just wanted to hurt him, make him suffer? Yeah, I guess that was it. Harvey! Harvey! Maybe it wasn't your uncle you wanted to hurt. Oh, Miss Marple now, are you? Not at all. I just know what teenage boys are like. Oh, you do, do you? Yeah. You're not so terribly different. You're just some kid who thinks the whole world should revolve around them and what they want. She doesn't want me! All teenage boys think that. I heard her! Heard what? Nothing. Heard what? Tell me, if you think you've got a good reason to do what you did, tell me. I'm your punishment, aren't I? That's what you said. 
I heard you talking to Nan. Your wild youth. I was God's punishment. Your grandmother said that, but I never... You agreed with her! I may have done. Just to keep her quiet, you know how she could go on. I never thought that. No? You're ashamed of me. We don't have time for this. We have to find Harvey. I am not ashamed of yeah, you. Yeah, right. David, have you any idea where he might go? When I was a kid, there was a place we used to go and make camps. There he is. Harvey? No, keep away! No, you let her in. She's one of them. She's not. She just wants to help. That's all we want to do. He has to take his pills. Harvey, you need to take some pills, sweetheart, please. Keep away. Leave me alone. Just keep away! Give me the pills. What? I'll get him to take them. Give me the bracelet, too. What are you doing? I've got the bracelet. As long as I go in a perfectly straight line, you said I'd be okay. Remember that? So you have to tell me. Am I still going straight? Yeah. yeah well, you, you, you're veering to the left a bit. Y yeah, that's it. I need to come in, Harv. The rays can't get in. That's what you said. Yeah, what about the men with the needles? Nah, they've gone. I gave them a false trail. I'll be in Scotland by now. <laughs> Look, I've taken my protector pills, but you've got to take yours. They'll help keep you safe, Harvey. I promise. Poor thing. Once he's taken his medication, he'll feel a lot better. I meant David. Teenagers can overreact, read too much into things. I've made my son feel like I don't want him. Something you need? Yeah. I need to know that you're okay. Yeah, I'm fine. No, I, I've got a patient coming in. Can this wait? No appointments for half an hour. Look, Julia, I don't need you fussing over me. I told you there's nothing to worry about. Something. Well, no. Jimmy, I'm a really patient person. But if you don't tell me what's wrong within the next ten seconds, I will probably strangle you with your own stethoscope. It's my OCD. Oh, has it got worse? No. Now... You know what I was at before? I'd have attacks all the time. I could control them, but they'd come back. And now? Well, since... You know, what happened and... Nothing. Well, that's a good thing, isn't it? I mean, for whatever reason, what you went through has cured it. There is no cure. Now, I know it sounds weird, but, you know... My OCD, it was one of those things about who I was, and now it's, it's like they've taken that from me. No. No, Jimmy, don't say that. They've taken nothing from you. Do you hear me? Nothing. You beat them. Do you know, when I was there, when, when they had me locked up, I, um... I often wondered how I'd ever feel normal again, and you know what? It's been OK. Because you are too special and too strong to be beaten by people like them. Look, don't worry about the OCD. It comes back or it doesn't come back. Jimmy... You are so much more than that. Thanks. They want to keep him in for a few days, wait until the medication has stabilised him. Then he can come home. Yes. I'm sorry, Mum. Thank you for helping us to find him. So... When's he coming home, then? You said you could help me find a place for Harvey. 
Somewhere nice? Yes, if that's what you want. I don't mind him being at home, OK? I'll try harder. I know you would. But maybe we both... Maybe we could do with a bit of a break. You're growing up. You'll be leaving home soon. I'd like to see more of you while I can. OK, then. But it has to be a good place. We'll go check it out. Both of us. I'll make a list and call you tomorrow. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. Got the shopping? Oh, Rob, I need to talk to you. What? Hey, Em. Hey, Dad. You look different. What is it, a new image? It's my culture. Did you what? Told you I needed to talk to you. It's what I am. A lesbian. Huh. No, you're not. Dad, I've got a girlfriend. What? You've got a girlfriend? What, is that so hard to believe? What, you, you mean you've actually... you know, with a girl? Not yet. But when the time comes, I know it's just gonna be perfect. What's for dinner, Mum? I'm starving. Hey. Hey, sis. This place safe? Very. I want to come home. Yeah, I know. Thing is, Harvey, I need you to do something for me. What? I'm going to find a nice place for you. A safe place where nobody can get you. And I need you to stay there. Just for a while. How long? Just for a while. You see, David needs me too. Huh. So you'll be okay then? Staying somewhere else? You'll come and get me. You promise? I promise. I'll come and get you. I think I've got something in my eye. Oh, no, no. Would you mind? Um... No, come, come over here. Come here. Uh, come here in the light. Uh, there. I can see your pretty face. Uh, yes. uh, actually, it feels better now. Yeah, it's my magic touch. <laughs> yes. So you've caused quite a stir in the surgery, amongst the ladies anyway. Oh, I know. Yes. Some of us think you might be just what we've been looking for. Mm, I'd like to think so. The thing is, you'd have to be very discreet. I'm the soul of discretion. Oh, well, then you'll have to do a trial with one of us. Trial, is it? Yeah, and, um, seeing as I'm here. <laughs> you see, we all have needs, and social conventions can be so very, very tedious. Uh, absolutely. We have this little club, and uh, we think you'd fit right in. That's mar marvellous, but I, I really have to go now. Oh, really? You can't give me ten minutes? Or are you more of a half-hour stallion kind of man. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's better. Uh, perhaps later. Yes, certainly, certainly later. But I have to go. Psst, Charlie. So, um, have you spoken to Michelle? Michelle? Yes. You know, about our little society. Well, fascinating. So, have you had your trial? Not, not quite. Not your type. Well, um, what about me? L lovely, but... I can spare a few minutes. Come on, then. I... Let's get the rest off. Please. Charlie! Uh, I've got, I've got to go. Where's your shoes? Uh, it's a long story, but I really, I've, I really uh, need a hand. Just two minutes, please. Come on. Just there. <clears throat> now then, we can't let you in without a trial. So, who's it going to be? It's worth it. Just think about it. Any one of us, any time you want. That's a subject to availability. I think you may have misunderstood. What's there to misunderstand? 
you've clearly got an appetite. And we've got appetites. So it's um, all very convenient. Or maybe you're finding it difficult to choose. So, um, why don't you try all of us? That's if your heart can take it. So, who's it gonna be? Eeny, Meeny, Miney, Mo. Or we could just go to the icon. Oh, yeah. I think I prefer that, actually. Mm. Yeah, me too. See you later then, maybe. Bye. Cheerio. <laughs> <laughs> So your injury is more consistent with being thrown about. Who do you suppose is doing the throw? We're just um, sharing our homosexual experiences. Great. Anyone joining? If you come to reprimand me. No. If you can't start living in the 21st century, Charlie. You like the best friend I could ever have. I hope we're a bit more than that. <laughs>